Well, a blessed Monday to you. Yes, it's Monday, another week. And for many of us, with the partial opening of our society and our communities, it's a different day. I'm Pastor John Shadel with Concordia Lutheran High School, and I pray that your last nine or ten weeks have not kept you from forgetting that our Lord and Savior, yes, that expression, he is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Well, school's out for the summer. What will that mean? What will that mean to you and to me? What does that mean for our students? Now the school is empty. They've spent the last few days, last week, returning their books, picking up things, returning things. All that's a part of school. What has changed? Well, it's changed. They don't have to do Zoom every day, do they? They're really about what's going to happen next. Job? Can they get out really and find a job? Who knows what their summer is going to be like? What life is going to be like for the now sophomores, juniors, seniors, and college freshmen, or those going on to other careers? It's a different time. It really is a different time. But for you and me, it won't look like this. For those of us who have used Zoom, for our students, it won't look like this every day. All of these pictures and all of the expressions that you see on that screen, you see a lot of smiles, a lot of laughter, but you also see some focus on what's going on in their own way. It's marvelous to know that this tool was made available by God for us to continue to share the gospel and to provide a quality education. Not the same, it's not going to be the same, but it's still what Concordia Lutheran High School does and what you and I as Christians do each day in sharing the good news. We teach others, we share the good words. It's gonna be interesting like this child peeking around the corner, wide-eyed. Are we going to be wide-eyed, peeking towards summer, hoping that the world will open up even more, hoping that what we'd like to do, we'll really be able to do? For those of us who have scheduled some time to visit family or just to get away, will we be wide-eyed and smiling and anxious to get out there? Who knows? Or will we be fearful, just like this little one, wondering what's coming? What's going to happen next? Who knows who to believe in the world today? Who knows what's going to happen next? You and I don't, but we do know that Christ is with us. And so whenever we doubt what's going to happen next, we've got to remember that and really focus not on what the fears and mistrusts of the future are, but on the trust in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. COVID-19 is still with us. And I've shared this before. My father came up with this phrase. COVID-19 stands for something for us as Christians and for all others if they hear this phrase. Christ, the C, overcomes the O, viruses, the V and the I, and disease or death. Christ overcomes viruses, disease, and death. Isn't that extraordinary? So out of these fearful letters and numbers, someone came up with a way to say, but Christ is still with us. School's out, but Christ is still with us. The summer's upon us but Christ is still with us. Who knows what tomorrow will bring in our human lives, but Christ is still with us. It's remarkable if you think of that. And then what does the 19 mean? 19 is from Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go, where 
wherever you go and whenever you go. All this means too, that as we continue to get out in public more, we have to remember that the body that the Lord has given us is a temple, a temple that the Holy Spirit resides in, a temple that we've been given to take care of, a temple that we're to be good stewards of. So as we approach the days and weeks and months ahead, we have to continue to protect what God has given us in some fashion, to be a good manager of not only all that he's blessed us with, but with he's given us in our bodies. And yes, our bodies hurt and ache and go through all the things that happen as we age gracefully or as we are 17, 18, 19 years old and feel the best we've ever felt. No matter what, that temple, that body you have, is from God. And what does it say? Is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. So glorify God in your body, no matter what is going on in the world. So those are the things we want to think about as we move ahead in this next week the 11th or 12th week of the COVID virus invading our lives, threatening us, frightening us. But we know, don't we? Christ overcomes viruses, disease, and death. The school is now empty. The school is not what it was three months ago, but the school will continue to exist because it offers Christ to so many. So as we prepare for another school year, as we prepare for the next day of what our work experiences will be like, don't forget, Christ overcomes viruses, disease, and death. Let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That's it. That's the end of this. But it's not the end of what you're going to experience. I pray, God, your next days, weeks, and months will be an opportunity to be a good steward for Jesus and for yourself and for those around you. God bless you, and God be with you every day.